All right, this week's word of the week is going to be welding symbol tail. So in reference to a welding symbol, what is the tail? What is it used for, right? Now there's three parts on a welding symbol. There's going to be the reference line, your arrow, and then your tail. The tail doesn't necessarily have to be on there. If there's no specification that you want to put the tail, they just lose the tail and you'll just have the reference line or the arrow. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not that big of a deal, 10 being a huge deal, if you don't know what a tail is and you're in the welding world, it's probably about a 9. It's pretty important. You need to know what the tail is, all right? And the way this came about is I had some people asking me, what is the actual point of the tail? And most people think that it's to list the process, the welding process that you're going to use. And I think the reason for that is because most literature, it will say, uh, you know, when it's referencing the tail, the first thing on there is the process. So what I did is I made a little summary of what I think the actual tail is used for. And I always thought it was just for general notes. It wasn't just for the process. It was for just about anything you wanted to put in there. But I wanted to formalize it and uh, do a little, quick little video on what actually the tail is used for according to the books. And if you uh, agree with it, throw in the comments. If you disagree, you can throw that in the comments as well. But this is the summary that I got. So I'm just going to do a quick little uh, summary and then we'll get out of here, all right? And you can see I wrote on here, cast dunk snark welding, because that's the process, ER70S-6, that would be a filler metal associated with TIG welding, right? And then I got note A down here. So there was four things that most things said about the tail. These three right here, the process, the filler, and then general references to other things on the actual print, all right? So I wrote note A. So if there was a note on the print that said something that was essential to this, to getting this well done, they're referring you to that note to make sure that you get that note, right? They're, they don't want you to miss it, so they're going to put it in the tail so that you can't miss it, right? And the fourth thing I got written right here is, or any information that aids in the making of the weld that does not have its own special place on the symbol, all right? So what that's basically saying is what I, what I was, you know, just said previously, is I thought it was for just about anything, like notes in general, that you needed to know about the weld, right? And I'll read it again. So you got these three, and then, or any information that aids in the making of the weld that does not have its own special place on the symbol. So basically, you can put anything in the tail that you want to that doesn't already have a place on the welding symbol. So like if it was a field weld, for instance, that has a place, right? You put the little flag right here, and you know that's a field weld, right? So you wouldn't put field weld in there because it already has another place on the actual welding symbol. If you were going to weld all the way around, right? That goes right here. It has its own place. So in summary, this is what I'm getting out of what I've read on the tail. You can put anything in the tail as long as it doesn't have a place on the welding symbol, you know, where it's supposed to go already. So like if you were going to put, I'm trying to think of another one here, a con, let's see, con, let me think, convex finish goes right here, right? So you wouldn't put that in here because it has a place, right? So that's my summary of the tail, basically these three things, and then I'll read it one more time. Or any information that aids in the making of the weld that does not have its own special place on the symbol. So basically you can put general notes in here as long as it doesn't have a place on the welding symbol, all right? So that's all I got for tail. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you next time.